Hello class, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. So before we start with this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. So sa araw na to, pag-uusapan natin on how to solve volumes using integration. So in this video, we will be, we will be focusing on how to derive the formula of any volume na hahanapin natin. So for example, here we have our x and y axis. So, pagbibigyan tayo ng dalawang parabola and its intersection, which is that one, and we are tasked to rotate the area of that one on our y-axis. So, take note class, we have two methods in determining that and uunahin po muna natin si circular disk method. So, pipili po tayo ng gagamitin natin na strip. Vertical ba or horizontal strip? So for this one, no, uh, recall natin in determining your strip, dapat po ang pipiliin natin ng strip is that matatamaan yung dalawang parabolas natin or dalawang equation. For this one po, hindi po pwede si vertical strip kasi isang parabola yung, lang yung natatamaan. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin is horizontal strip. So for that one, Ayan po, that is our representation of our horizontal strip. That is our x, the distance, and our dy. So dy po, meaning napakaliit niyan na value. Okay? So proceed po tayo in order for us to derive the formula, lalagyan po natin siya ng mga labels. Diba? Mahirap na pag walang label. So yung left natin na parabola, that would be our x sub l. And yung right natin na parabola, that is our x sub sub r and then lalagyan natin ng measurement papunta sa ating y axis which is x sub l and x sub r so with this one wag po natin kakalimutan yung measurement ng centroid ng ating strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation so that would be our x sub c so here we have our representation kung papaikutin na po natin yung ating strip. So hindi lang siya color red, no? Kasi wala ako nakita ang color red na figure for this one. So imagine nyo na lang, class, that, that is color red, di ba? So lalagyan natin ng label. This would be our X na strip. Ayan, yung measurement ng strip natin. And this would be our DY. And then, this is our axis of rotation. So for this one is our Y axis. So, this is x sub r and x sub l. And then, yung x sub c natin coming from the center of our strip papunta po sa ating axis of rotation. Okay. So, next step is yung ating general formula for our volume. So, take note class that the volume of any given figure is equivalent po ng area ng ating strip then gagamitan po natin ng integration para ma-summation po yung ating strip from lower limit papuntang upper limit. So that is from lower limit to upper limit. And then multiply po natin siya ng 2 pi kasi we need to rotate this one to our axis, which is our y. Diba? So multiplied by 2 pi, which is equivalent to one revolution. And then multiply po natin siya ng x sub c. No? So with respect po tayo from our center of our strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. Okay po. So lalagyan po natin to or expand po natin to. This would become 2 pi. Then integration, our area of our strip would simply be x times dy, no? Rectangle lang po yan. So, x multiplied by dy. And then, yung ating multiplied by x sub c. So, decide tayo. Yung lower limit natin, take note, we are dealing with dy. So, therefore, y din yung gagamitin natin na lower limit. So, y sub 2 sa itaas would be y sub 1. Okay po? So, we need to expand this one na yung x natin tsaka x sub c is is in terms of our x sub l and x sub r. Okay? So first is yung x natin. x natin dito. No? So yung ating x sub r minus x sub l, di ba? As you can see, puputuli natin yan. That, that would be our x 
'di ba? And then in determining our tayo uh, lagay natin. x is equivalent to x sub r minus x sub l. How about x sub c? So in determining your x sub c class, ang gagawin ang gagawin mo is in addition lang po yan ng x sub r and x sub l. So as you can see, transfer natin dito class ha. Ayan siya. Ito na yung x sub l natin. And then, i-divide mo yan ng 2. So therefore, ayan siya, no? divided by 2. And as you can see, ayan siya. Nasa gitna na tayo. So therefore, x sub c is simply x sub r. Ayan plus x sub L divided by 2. Okay po, so substitute lang natin yan. V is equivalent to 2 pi, then y sub 1 and y sub 2, tapos x, Ay, sorry. that would be x sub R minus x sub L, then yung dy, no? ilas part na lang natin yan, unahin natin yung x sub R plus x sub l divided by 2. Then, yung ating dy. Okay po. So, tapos na yan. We need to simplify na lang. So, cancel out, cancel out. The result would be pi. Then, y sub 1, y sub 2. Pagtagaan lang natin to class. x sub r, x sub l, x sub r, plus x sub l. In next step class is yung ating uh, FOIL method. ba? So, multiply lang natin yung first. Okay? So, x sub r squared. Uh, first, outer. x sub r multiplied by x sub l. That would be uh, plus x sub r, x sub l. Next thing is yung inner. No? FOIL po tayo. Minus x sub r, x sub l, and last part would be positive. I think that's negative. It's not in chat. Negative x sub l squared. So therefore, obviously, cancel out po yung nasa gitna. And ma, kukuha na natin yung general formula, or sorry, specific formula pala if we are using horizontal slip and circular disk method for that figure. So that would be pi, then integration, low upper limit natin is y sub 1 and y sub 2. And then remaining natin is x sub r squared minus x sub l squared dy. Ayan po, erase natin sa lahat kasi meron tayong nakatype dito. Ayan siya. So there you have it, our general formula or our specific formula in determining our volume. So how about if we have another situation, which is bibigyan pa din tayo ng dalawang uh, parabolas pero nakakoncave upward and downward. And we are tasked to rotate that one to our x-axis. So as you can see, uh, hindi po pwede yung horizontal strip dyan. Diba? Kasi isang equation lang or graph yung natatamaan. So therefore, we will be using vertical strip. Ayan po. So medyo dalian na lang natin to kasi alam na natin yung step by step ng ating pag-derive ng formula. Okay? So lagyan natin ng vertical strip. This is our y and our x or dx, ba? And then, lagyan natin ng label, which is y sub u, up, then y sub d, which is down. Diba? And then, next thing is yung ating distance from our y sub up, papunta sa ating axis of rotation. And then, another one is y sub down. Then, same kanina, hindi natin dapat kakalimutan yung ating distance from the center of our strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation which is y sub c. Diba? So, proceed tayo. Uh, this is the figure. No? Same pa din siya. Hindi siya color red kasi wala akong nakitang color red for that one. So, lagay natin yung kanyang mga variables. This is our y and this is our dx. Ayan po siya. And then, 
This is our axis of rotation, y sub up, down, and our center. Okay po, so derive natin yung kanyang formula. The same lang po kanina. So that is volume is equivalent to 2 pi. Then integration, this is our area. This is the area of our strip. That would be y times dx. Ayan. And then dx yung gamit natin. So therefore, our lower limit would be x sub 1. Upper limit natin would be x sub 2. And then po, wag kakalimutan yung ating multiplied by y sub c. Diba? Okay, so simplify lang po natin or mas specific yung gagawin natin. No? Lalagyan natin ng value yung ating y and y sub c in terms of upward and downward natin na formula. So lagay lang natin x sub 2, x sub 1. So first thing is y. So how can we solve our y? So as you can see po, we have our y sub up or u, y sub u, and y sub d. So pag i-minus natin yan, makukuha natin si y. So lagyan natin y sub u minus y sub d. Okay? Next thing is yung y sub c natin or center. So same kanina, ipapakita lang natin. Determining our y sub c is ilalagay lang natin to sa itaas. Ayan siya. Kita niyo ba? And then, divided by 2 natin. So, with that, ayan po, makukuha na natin sa y sub c. So, therefore, that is y sub u plus y sub d divided by 2 multiplied by our dx. Okay, so same kanina. Last thing that we need to do is to simplify this one. So, therefore, cancel out, cancel out. And the same lang kanina which is yung ating FOIL method. As you can see, ah, pansin na natin yan that negative and positive. So therefore, same lang dito. No? Iba lang yung variables natin. So therefore, that would be volume is equivalent to pi then integration of x sub 1 and x sub 2 then y sub up or u, y sub u squared minus y sub d squared with respect to our dx. Ayan po. So, erase natin yung lahat. So, we have here our formula. Ayan. So, proceed po tayo sa ating third situation. So, for example, we have our x and y uh, axis. And then, we are given yung naka-concave to the right and concave to the left na parabolas. And then, we are tasked to find its volume if this area is rotated sa ating x-axis. ba? So, this is called a cylindrical shell method. So, take note class, hindi po pwede gamitin dito si vertical strip. ba? Kasi isang parabola lang yung natatamaan. So, therefore, we will be using horizontal strip for this one. Okay, so lagyan natin ng x and dy, di ba? And then, lagyan natin ng label para ma-derive natin mamaya yung kanyang formula. So, x sub l and x sub r, no, left and right. And then, this one is our x sub l na measurement and x sub r. So, same kanina, di ba? We need the distance of our strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. Ayan po siya. Y sub C. Diba? So kasi sa Y axis siya. With respect to our Y axis. Kumbaga. Okay. So proceed tayo. If i-rotate na natin yan, ito po yung kalabasan. Ayan. Nakikita na po ako ng red na figure for that one. So kaya tinawag siya na cylindrical shell method. No? Para siyang shell. Kumbaga. Okay. So, lagyan natin ng label dy, this are dy, then this are x, ayan po. No, medyo mahaba lang siya, for the same lang yan. x and dy. Tapos, this is our y sub c, ayan po siya, sa axis of rotation. Ayan, lumabas si formula, no? So, derive natin sa formula. So, same kanina, di ba? Volume is equivalent to the area of our strip. Then, lalagyan natin ng integration, upper limit, lower limit. 
then 2 pi then ang ating multiplied by our distance papunta sa ating axis of rotation y sub c so therefore that would be volume is equivalent to 2 pi then integration of our area a sub s no that is the area of this rectangle is simply x multiplied by dy so we are dealing with dy so y din yung ating lower limit ayan siya and then yung upper limit natin would be y sub 1 and then lagay natin y sub c ayan po so kagaya po kanina uh, specify natin siya ano yung x natin and ano yung y sub c natin so lalagyan natin 2 pi then y sub 1 over y sub 2 or shall I say uh, y sub 1 yung ating upper limit and y sub 2 yung ating lower limit. So dito po tayo sa x. In order for us to derive the formula for x, this is just x sub r minus x sub l. Diba? Same kanina, putulin lang natin siya. So, x sub r minus x sub l. And then this one is dy. Okay po. So how about our y sub c? So as you can see, okay naman din yan siya kasi with respect to x-axis, so lalagyan lang natin ng y. Diba? So para mas maganda tingnan, no? unahin natin yung y and then uh, dy. And there you have it. This is our formula if we are using cylindrical shell method. So take note class, a uh, different situation, different yung method na dapat gamitin mo. Depende talaga yan sa ating situation. So erase natin yung lahat. And then iligay natin yung formula. Ayan po siya. Diba? Y sub C then dy. Okay? So proceed tayo sa ating last situation. What if the same pa din, we have y and x na axis. Bibigyan tayo ng dalawang parabola. And then their intersection. The same pa din kanina. Yan, ipaparotate lang siya. No? Which is a y-axis natin. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin is vertical strip. Kasi pag horizontal, no, isang graph lang yung natatamaan. So vertical strip. So continue natin yung pag-derive ng formula. This would be y, and this would be our dx. And then label natin y sub up, no, u, sa upper, then sa lower, or sa down, no, y sub t. And then lagyan natin ng measurement from y sub up and y sub down. And then, kalimutan si measurement of your center ng ating uh, strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. So as you can see, that is x sub c. So representation niya, ayan po, if i-rotate na natin siya sa ating axis of rotation. So lagyan natin ng label, dx, then this is our y, di ba? Ayan po siya. Ayan po. And then this would be our x sub c, the center, and then yung y natin. Diba? Which is y sub up minus y sub down. Diba? So obvious na yan. Siya. So therefore, proceed tayo and driving. And push siya. So volume is equivalent to 2 pi. And then integration, yung ating area ng ating strip. That would be y multiplied by dx. And then yung ating lower limit. So we are dealing with x. Diba? So therefore, this would be x sub 1. And this would be our x sub 2. And then wag po kalimutan yung ating x sub c. Diba? So the measurement from our strip or center of our strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. So same kanina, simplify lang po natin or specify lang natin what is the value of our y and our x sub c. So for this one, lalagay natin y. Ito na na kanina. That is y sub up. For u minus y sub t. And then, lagay lang natin si x sub c. In this part, is just our x. And then, dx. So 
there you have it. The formula for our vertical strip. So, erase natin. Then, palitan natin siya. I think that's it. So, I hope that you have learned something for this video. And, lagi lang natin tatandaan that formulas can be forgotten, but the concept itself remains forever. Goodbye, class. See you again next video.